Dr. Paul Mason, vegetable oils, also known as seed oils, are extremely dangerous to our health. So vegetable oils, by their chemical nature, they have bonds that are prone to oxidation and prone to oxidation rapidly. So that means it, if it's been sitting on the shelf for a week or a month or three months, it doesn't matter. That oil in the bottle sitting on your shelf, if it's vegetable or seed oil, is oxidized. And when you consume it, your body absorbs these oxidation products. Some examples of seed oils include soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower, corn, safflower oil. Check packaged and processed food labels for the type of oils they use. Examples of healthy saturated fats and oils. Butter and ghee. Lard from pork. Tallow from beef. Suet from around the kidneys. Poultry fat. Coconut oil. Again, check packaged and processed food labels for the type of oils they use. When we absorb fats, they get absorbed into something called chylomicrons and they get transferred around our body through lymph channels and things like that. And these oxidized fats end up becoming a part of fats that get released by the liver, um, VLDL particles and LDL cholesterol, which you've probably heard about, that circulates around the whole body. And these oxidized fats, they're called lipid peroxidation contained within these cholesterol molecules, get delivered to every corner, nook and cranny of the body, and they deliver their oxidation products. One of the, the biggest recipients of these oxidized products is the liver. And we've got very good evidence that drinking oxidized seed oils actually leads to fatty liver disease and contributes significantly to insulin resistance. And this happens in everybody. The problem is in people who are diabetic because they're insulin resistant, their clearance of these oxidized fats is very much reduced. And uh, that ends up with a, a, a much longer duration of oxidative stress to the body. It, it can take three days to clear um, oxidized products if a, uh, if a diabetic consumes oxidized seed oils. But having said that, even if you're not diabetic, oxidized seed oils are still not healthy. They've never been healthy. All the research, when we look at it with a critical eye, that research that's been done with a good methodology actually indicates it tells the truth. It tells us that seed oils are dangerous. They just happen to be a little bit worse, or actually quite a lot worse, if you're diabetic. Vegetable oils or seed oils chemically have bonds that are prone to rapid oxidation. This means the oil sitting on your shelf is oxidized. When consumed, your body absorbs these oxidation products. Some examples of seed oils include soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower, corn, safflower oil. Check packaged and processed food labels for the type of oils they use. Examples of healthy saturated fats and oils. Butter and ghee. Lard from pork. Tallow from beef, suet from around the kidneys, poultry fat, coconut oil. Again, check packaged and processed food labels for the type of oils they use. When we absorb fats, they get absorbed into chylomicrons. They get transported around our body. These oxidized fats get released by the liver with LDL particles and LDL cholesterol. These oxidized fats, called lipid peroxidation, within the cholesterol molecules deliver oxidation products to all parts of the body. One key destination of these oxidized products is the liver. Research shows that vegetable oils lead to fatty liver disease and insulin resistance. This happens in everybody. The trouble for people with type 2 diabetes, due to their insulin resistance, their clearance ability for these oxidized fats is low. So the oxidative stress can remain in their body for several days. Even if someone is not diabetic, vegetable or seed oils are not healthy. They have never been healthy. 
All serious research tells us seed oils are dangerous.